Alrighty guys, welcome back to episode 13 of Minecraft Story Mode, where today we are starting uh, episode 7. And yeah, Access Denied. Now this is one I've never played. I've seen, again, videos on A Portal to Mystery, the one of, I guess it's technically Hero Brian's Mansion is what it's based off of. But yeah, but this one I've never, no, I've never seen much about it so this is gonna be hopefully interesting um but i'm just gonna let you know i'm sorry if i'm just sitting there and i'm quiet it's probably because i'm zoned out and i'm previously focusing on, on watching and playing mode. the game that glow that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders a group so old that they existed even before the order of the stone Cause I remember at the end, was it at the end there last time we had Captain Spark and Stroke, and then Ivor just gets shot into another portal. Ah, not again! Oh, have they just been portal hopping this whole time? Get off of me! Get it off! I do want to say this, normally when we do get those little world. intro scenes, when they give us like all the artists and directors and all that, and voice actors, um, normally like we have a little playing, like stuff to like play through it, to like progress it, Thanks, guys. that didn't even pop up this time. Also, if you guys want to know something, I ordered wow. the Jura Jurassic Park, the, the game, the Tall okay, Tale did I miss something game. Here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! We're all frustrated, Petra. You're not the only one ready for a break. Well, don't take it out on Lucas. Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. Uh, see? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ugh! Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. And what if there's no smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... another Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. Well... I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. 
Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody calm down. I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? Okay, we're backpedaling okay. there on that Friends one. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Oh, my shoulder pads. I just noticed that they're flipped upside down again. I think they did that towards the end of the last episode as well. I think I remember that while I was editing it. <laughs> Welcome to the Badlands. Guys, I think this is a Mesa biome. Awesome. Oh, man. You're right. I mean, all the sand and clay and everything. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Keep an eye out for the exit portal. I don't want to get stuck here if the worst happens. Ah. Uh. You mean pumpkin face killers, surprise fire worlds, monsters? Yeah, any of that stuff. Who knows what this world has in store for us? Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. We're not going to find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Right now hey, is a bad time that? as well. I have my hands off the controller and I'm trying to mix me ah, up some gamer there subs. There are people here! Petra, wait! It. Petra? Please don't Shh, make me have to down. click something. I'm not looking. What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? Oh, I wasn't looking. So weird. Oh, I, that was a bad I idea. I knew it was a bad Maybe idea to mix up my drink. Thing. Zombies and monsters come Should have done this before her? the video, not the very start. Crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on. Worse than Fireworld or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, check it out. What the? There's something weird about this zombie. Yeah, it's uh, redstone I upgraded. Can use a hand. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Petra. I got your back. <sighs> This should be a piece of cake. Ow! Ow, I got hit, damn it. Oof, that was not the plan. I should hope not. I think I walked too far zombie. forward and straight into it. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because. That would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. Maybe this world zombies are super buff? Seems possible. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. Oh, speaking of which... Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Oh. 
that was unexpected. Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. So poke it in the face with the sword. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? It's like it's... Let's get out of here, dude. Head. I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. <gasps> they're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. Yeah, you're nuts, Lucas. But it just doesn't yeah, let's make find any out sense. Who's behind this. Come on, I'm really starting to think someone is behind all this, and I intend to find out who. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. Like the fact they went with the old dial-up sounds. Instead of just like you ever have a computer freeze on you, it's just or like the previous noise that was playing that same exact note, like the last note of audio that was being played before the crash. I don't see any people anywhere. This architecture is fascinating, it's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. It's kind of what Petra was talking about. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah, I want to see those too. Be careful. Ivor is just going to straight grab one. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. You know what, Ivor? Go for, for it. Ivor? This is what that we got him for. He's the crazy dude that we let out. experiment. If it blows up, it blows up. He's the... He's the bomb defusal robot. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? Hello? They have one of those things in their head. I can already Hello? see it. Nope. Nothing for me, either. I'm just going to be blank. I don't like this. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Crown of Mesa population 1,063. Welcome to Crown Mesa population 1063. I called it Crown Mason, Dan. It's Crown Mesa. I don't see a single Over person. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Let's talk to Ivor and Lucas. Guys! Jesse? How goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. There's a redstone contraption over there. See it? Right there where my cursor is. They even got the chickens. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? That's just weird. How's it going, chickens? Uh-huh, that's nice. 
Okay, um, I think our next option here is Petra, maybe? There's a well. Let's talk to Petra first, though. Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular. Mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. We cool? Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. I'm gonna keep checking this place out. See ya. Look at the well. Kind of just slowly the going well through looks everything. Totally I just dry. think I just saw that water? one guy that we previously saw looking through a chest back there. Yeah, there he is. Talk to townsperson. Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use. Who? The... What? Huh? Scale of 1 to 10, how weird was that guy? Because he seemed pretty weird. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very, very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. <laughs> Jesse? That was another person. Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh. I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're, uh, distinctive looking now. Yeah, I met someone. Not, not sure I'd call him people anymore, though. No, 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 please don't talk that way. I'm sure it looks confusing to someone from the outside, but please... They're my friends, and they are people. Please don't forget that. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier! Time to go! Good plan! With you all the way! <laughs> nope! We're stuck! You are not from this place! You're right, this isn't our home. We came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Palma's suspicions. A decision has been made. Palma has questions. <laughs> You will come to Palma. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take Ooh, orders from do. whatever the heck these things Not are? Gonna Not gonna happen. Anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. 
Ouch! Watch it! Struggle! You will be made useful! So what, they knocked me out in one punch? What... what happened? You went down! Hard! One punch and you were out. <gasps> what is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose the it's friendly, computer. do you? Redstone computer. Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Yeah, I'm guessing no on the friendly thing. Whatever it is, I think it's behind all this. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun. If you choose to cooperate, that is. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but am I talking to Pama right now? What is Pama? Some might call me a computer, a thinking machine, though there has never been a computer quite like me. My job is to be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made there their the world straight up skeleton down there. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them. And they are connected to me. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. We walked here. Walked? Elaborate, please. It's, uh, when you use your feet to take you someplace? You are attempting to be cute. Attempt failed. So far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative I don't want to tell this thing to about the portal. my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Mama, hang on, let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me. What is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! Jesse! 
This situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? Big mistake, Palma. I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> Sorry, did not mean to cough into the mic. <gasps> it's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had? Are they gonna? Killer, I don't think they're gonna mansion. assimilate me. I think Ivor is gonna help here. Huh? Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Olivia loves these things she calls logic puzzles, word problems and stuff. Really complicated. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Comma, trust me when I tell you, trust no one. So, if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. It's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say trust no one. This data is contradictory. Oh, that broke Does it? Not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, uh, it worked. Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. I'm a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status on hold. Gas, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again! Come on, you two! This way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, Creator. Quick, follow Come her. On, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. Oh, we're gonna have to leave Lucas and Petra. Oh, dodge! Dodge again! Yeah. Hey! Oh! <gasps> oh, X! I hit A for some reason. For a minute there, I thought it in, like insta failed. Sometimes that happens if you hit the wrong button, it just insta fails. Ivor just biffed it hard. <sighs> Duck! This way. Nowhere left to run. We've never survived jumping down! We would with these. Excellent, Jesse! Now we just need to throw them in the right spot! There! As soon as they land! Your running makes me sad. Whoa, why is that always so disorienting? Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Look at Ivor. Needs the chest. Oh, a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You made that 
that Palmer thing. Yeah, okay, yes. I was the one who built Palmer. But I swear this wasn't its purpose. It's out of control. And and I need your help. What kind of help? You need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. See you in a few. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <clears throat> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? The big difference. Oh, that. It's like she the art. is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? I actually wish those That's would actually weird. form in uh, Minecraft, those weird arches. Because I went down to Nevada and I went actually down to so one of those arches strange. and I walked it's a like three an mile copy. hike one day or one day when we or were down there. Is it? And got Seems all the way up to the top where they had the off. big arch. So it's a painting. Look for the difference. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is, please do it quickly because I think those monsters might be coming back. Huh. This cactus. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Open. Quickly, quickly. Pull the lever. Ooh, we got a sinkhole. Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. Aim for the water, Ivor. I see water. We can aim for that. He made it. Looks like I'm showing everything it's got at us. Just one after the other. Yeah, we have definitely landed on Palma's bad list, and I'm getting the impression that it's not the type to give up lightly. This kind of not giving up I can deal with. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Oh, yeah, they just figured out where to aim. Oh, water Looks short like circuits. To it. It's eyes. Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. Yeah! Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Pull the lever, Kronk. I don't know what's with me. Just pull the lever, damn it, Jesse. Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave-in coming up. It's worked! Closes the passage. That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palma's chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. Does Ivor have I'm a little crush? I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Intriguing, Ivor? Why, whatever do you mean by that? I, what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing more. <clears throat> Careful with all that sputtering. You'll swallow your beard. 
What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Yeah, that one's my bad. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. I'll be sure to use that sorry for protection when that crazy computer is knocking on my door. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Well, if you're an old builder, can't you help my friends get free of Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. You did what now? I destroyed it. Not because I wanted to, but because it was the only way to keep the other world safe. Looks like you know we're what? not That's getting understandable. home anytime soon. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Pama is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Baron. Dead. Everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Pama wants. So, Pama, what is it? I swear, I made Pama with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Pama decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Pama seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Pama chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Pama would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. But you do know how to build exit portals, though. If we get all this sorted out, you could make us one? I do think I can help you. With, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. It's going to be a command block, I feel. Before we head inside, Cause I got, I've had a theory. I think these going. old builders also in the in. Minecraft story mode lore made the command blocks. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Okay. Happy to help, friend. Little creepy. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. You know what? Wow. That does make sense. What? A builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. Wow, that is a highly elaborate way to make a waterfall. Can't be too careful with water around here. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Um, oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons. They're breaking in. Hold them off to buy me more time. Got and it. Whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. 
you could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Lucas, let's try and buck this out. The time for talking over. You need to push one of them in the water, I think. Yeah, it's giving me the option. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a critical as well. Let's go with Lucas. <sighs> Jesse. That was awful. Uh, Jesse? Harper, I'm coming! Oh no! No! Use the headset, Jesse! And don't forget the last cauldron! And one more thing! Get the roses to Harry! Harry? Get the roses to Come Harry? On. What are we going to do? Harper told me to remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! Oh, get it! I hit A. Why did I hit A? There! Got it. Can't get through that. Wall of water. Harper and Petra. No. I... That's awful. I feel like I see Harry there in the background. I don't know if it helps at all, but I remember something while I was part of Pama that I think was important. It was tall, glowing red lights. It's like, it's like a fuzzy dream, and I can try to remember more if you want, but it's making my headache even worse. It was just so weird. It was like being connected to everyone else's brains at the same time. Relax, buddy. Take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. Why is this Harper so important? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully help Petra, too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And... That would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure that Harper is still in her right mind? No. If somebody is alone for a really long time, their brain changes, and not for the better. It does look like she's lost her way a bit. Yeah. I'd say that's putting it lightly. Watch your tone. She is a genius and should be treated as such. Although even I have to admit this is a bit much. I guess we shouldn't judge her based on how weird the stuff in her place is. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Definitely. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. I feel like it's that zombie. But I'm also feeling like right now is a really good time to call it here for the episode. 
because we are at 45 minutes and this is exactly what I was kind of looking for for a stopping point. So yeah, anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can get notified upon me posting new videos. And as well, if you guys would like to go above and beyond, I do have channel memberships. So yeah, if you guys want to do that, do that. But anyways, this has been Gunshy Moray, signing off. Peace. Peace.